Hello everyone, it's Marcy Peters, America's Whole Life Coach, and today I wanted to share something special with you. I have one of my very favorite clients with me, and this is the very lovely Anharad, and she's in London, and we've been working together for just over six months, and she's made incredible progress. And I want you to take this, her story, as inspiration and as a way to know that you can pull through too. So let's have a quick chat and hear about her journey. On Harid, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Okay, so today? I am so good, I'm, and thank you so much for spending a few minutes with everyone and sharing your story. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm curious is if you could tell everyone um, where you were when we first started working together and then talk about what's changed since then. Uh, when we started working together, I have had fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue for uh, almost 18 years and had tried almost everything that I'd come across, except maybe going to a homeopath. Um, and when we started working, I think it was after the first month, um, I was actually feeling 50% better. So that was a 50% reduction in muscle and joint pain and muscle fatigue and general fatigue. It was so significant that it was quite astounding and um, and unbelievable in a sense. My brain almost kept wanting to say, oh, this isn't really true and would keep making me test my limits. Um, I also realized that my headaches and migraines were way, way less. And then at this point, I think that I really have them. So, and I was having migraines and taking migraine medication probably two or three times a week. So it's significantly better. Um, additionally, I had really difficult um, IBS problems that had gotten a lot better once I'd started on a specific carbohydrate diet. But then after a month or so working with, with you, I felt like um, that that improved so tremendously that I rarely have those attacks anymore. And they used to be they used to really in interfere with what I was doing. They would stop me often from considering going out or how I would go out. Uh, and if I did, I'd sit, have to, you know, sit on the very edge of the theater so I could leave in time. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, um, tremendously more happy in my life. Like I always thought I was generally a happy person, but. Of, I mean, sometimes I was so happy, I felt like I was just going to explode. And that is one of the things that really astounds me, that the exercises that you gave me and the work that you did with me could change my view so much. And then I guess the other significant thing that really surprised me at how how much it's it's happened now. My boyfriend made a comment recently that he thought it was more normal for me to be calm now than to be, um, uh, a friend of mine called it turbo, um, which was really keeping myself in fight or flight. And I was trying with my doctor to move myself out of that with mindfulness exercises, but I, I found it almost impossible. You know, I would, I would be there and then leave and, and so, somehow I was able to be much more aware of my body and aware of um, what I should do for my body. Yeah. And so I think I've settled down, I'm calmer. Um, and I'm thinking, I was trying to measure how much better I am and it, I think now I'm about 60 to 70% better if, if I'm keeping with them um, all the things that I should do that are best for my body. That was the other thing is a concept of learning to listen to my body and make choices that are best for my body. And to not judge myself as harshly as I have. I always thought I didn't judge myself harshly or other people and I've learned really how to judge myself far less and to catch myself when I do and it seems to make a very huge difference in my leg level of fatigue and pain. So, 
Um, and going to, going to bed earlier, that affected my sleep greatly. So my sleep has improved. Um, and I feel like, uh, oh, I, I've started in the last couple of weeks, I started a yoga program. So that's amazing because I've been meaning to get back to that for about three years and never felt I had the strength or the energy. And, um, and I've been able to increase my activity bit by bit. I'm now walking easily 45 minutes at a time, which uh, I would always take the bus in the past. It just seemed quite overwhelming before to walk that distance because I assumed I would have an attack in that time frame, whether it was a, an attack from fight or flight or an attack from IBS, um, but that seemed to improve greatly. Oh, and I lost 18 pounds, which <laughs> yes. is amazing, especially yeah. eating a lot more. Like my, my meals, like initially I even had to consult you about the, um, the portions because they just seemed so big. But um, <laughs> So that that was amazing. And then the other thing that's happened is that um, I think that part of those attacks that I were, was having was a blood sugar attack mm -hmm. because I would notice that if I ate something really quickly in the right time, I'd be okay. And I was having to do that every couple of hours. And now I'm you know able to eat every five to seven hours without attacks, without um, worrying about getting the right food when not having to carry food around. Yeah. yeah, and it's such freedom to, it so is, yeah. we, we stabilized your blood sugar is what happened, and, and so mm -hmm. then the result of that is you lost weight, and you have energy, and you don't get that instability in between meals. You have come so far, you know, I really want to congratulate you. I mean, it's incredible to be sick for that long, and then to have it mostly turned around within, you know, starting within a month and then now six months, it's just incredible. And you are someone who went to lots of doctors. I know you had a, ha you still have a naturopath on staff and, and you have searched out all these different things and nothing had worked. So, I mean, I just want to really congratulate you for being committed and stepping up and being really open to my suggestions. You know, you have really been present in our sessions and done the work and, you know, been really interested in all the exercises and, and that has really added up to quite a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful where I've come and I feel like I've made, um, like a foundation to heal. I never really uh, experienced that before. I read about it, but now I actually feel like, oh, and the other thing, and this is quite significant, is I have now probably a day a week where I feel like I'm totally well. Like I'll, I'll wake up and I'll think, oh, actually, I feel well today. And I could almost have a normal day today. And that I mean, yeah. I had that briefly for a spot a few years ago, but yeah, and not now really. it's increasing more and more, and will continue to increase so that eventually you're up near 80, 90, 100, you know, even a hundred percent sometimes, and and no one's at consistently a hundred percent all the time, but you know you're gonna get back up there. So this is incredible. So it has, thank you. So what are you most looking forward to, you know, with all of these changes, now you're able to do so much more and you're exercising more and you're able to go out more. I know that your relationship with your boyfriend has strengthened and, you know, the, your future is looking completely different than it used to. What are you most looking forward to? Well, uh, in the short term, I'm really looking forward to going to movies. I got a movie pass where I can see all that I want. And before I wouldn't have done that because I would have assumed I wouldn't be well enough to go out every week. Mm -hmm. So that's really exciting in the short term. And I hope to start swimming in a few months. And I keep meaning to get to that. And I've never been strong enough to get to that. So I'm hoping to do that really soon. Um, and I'm and I'm really looking forward to I'm going to do in the very shortly of committing getting up at a certain time and committing the day, which I've never really been able to do. Because um, if I knew I had to wake up, I'd never sleep well. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
and then in the long term or the short long term is is taking classes i look forward to um taking acting classes again to see if that is where i want to return to work um and also possibly returning to writing and uh, taking some screenwriting classes you have such a bright future ahead of you, my dear. Um, any parting words that you would like to tell everyone who is watching right now? Well, my experience has been amazing. It's also been great to have um, someone that listens to me, that supports me each week as well. It's I because I'm such um, a high functioning person or have been. It was very, very hard to discuss it, even with my boyfriend, how I feel and, and, and how I want to move out of it and ahead. And that, that's that been one of the biggest gifts is you supporting me and um, incredible encouragement. Yeah. So that's, that's really, really helped me. And also answering to someone, which is an odd thing, but um, for, for my personality, that really was a good thing to answer to somebody each week, um, whether I did something or not. Or Yes, yes. And it has been my honor guiding you in this journey. I'm so proud of you. And to everyone listening, I want you to know that this is possible for you to, to turn around whatever it is you're dealing with, with your health and life. And it really is not just about nutrition. It's about that whole full experience, mind, body, and soul. So I will leave you with that. Thank you once again, my dear. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>